Well, the fixing has begun. I have uh, purchased a new steering shaft, which included the ignition, and that's of course the part that I needed. So I have started to install it. I've taken off the plastics from around the steering column. Now we'll remove the steering wheel itself via the center bolt there. We'll get rid of the uh, um, signals and uh, wiper uh, switches. And then uh, I think it's pretty clear to pull the column out after that. Luckily, I did get the right kind. I got an automatic one, which has the, uh, the little cable on it, which I'll show you in just a minute. But uh, exciting times. Judy's on her way over, and we're going to do this together. She's excited to, to work on uh, as much as she can with me, which is cool. Um, always nice to have support and enthusiasm with these jobs. So we'll... Uh, We'll pull this column out today and get a new one in. I wonder if we could pull the front seats out today and try pushing the roof out. I have no clue. I don't know how hard or easy that'll be. <laughs> I see you. I think I might try that. Well, yeah, that, you'd have a lot more room to work there, I'm sure. Yeah. Is the seat even pushed back as far as it'll go? Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't need that much more room for what I'm doing right now. I could easily work around it. But I'm thinking since I wanted to pull the seats out anyway, mm -hmm. why not do it right now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> This guy, which is the spare tire tool, uh, fits into here, see? Oh, okay. Oh, that's where it is? See? Oh, wow. Okay. That's where it goes. Well, I definitely want a vacuum now that that's opened. Cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. <laughs> cleaning doesn't end with this guy. <laughs> we took the seats out in order to. Uh, give me a little more access for the steering column but really I hardly needed that basically the reason why we took the seats out is because Judy's a clean freak and she would like to clean under there but also because of course sorry if you can hardly hear me the roof is caved in and therefore we're wanting to uh, to push that back out and I'd like to stand with my feet on these um, seat supports and my shoulders up against the top of the roof here to try to push the whole thing out Hopefully this metal has some memory to it and um, uh, and it'll pop back to something slightly close to its original position. I, uh, I don't expect that this area will look good at all. I mean, it's so warped, what can we do? But uh, I hope that most of that will at least pop out to the point that it won't store water anymore. And uh, that's that. So uh, I'll put you on a tripod for that portion once we get there. Sorry if the audio is terrible. I didn't put my uh, wireless mics on today, just relying on the camera mic. Hopefully the sound is not too bad. Well, here goes nothing. <laughs> the moment Let of truth. Let us see if, uh, if I can pop this out anywhere near to the way that I hope it might come. I think I... Does that look like about the right spot? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just be careful of the mirror behind you. Oh! That sounded promising. Yeah. Ooh! Well, let's have a look. Either that's the roof or your back. <laughs> crunch, crunch. Oh, that's not bad at all. Yeah, not too bad. Yes. Could definitely come up a bit more in your corner there. Okay. Um, but yeah, not terrible, hey? Yes. Definitely a lot better. We've got oh, a corner. bad spot back there, but uh, I wonder if I could just kind of pound them from underneath. Oh yeah, look at that. Yes. <laughs> not bad. Yes, you can. No, that's not terrible. No. Well, I'll switch sides and I'll come All right. around over there. Okay.
All right. <laughs> that's that's really good. I don't think we're gonna get much better, to be honest. No. I don't want to mess with this. I'd rather leave it up than try to hammer it down and create another yes. big tent. Yes. Yes. So that we'll go corner. Pound that one. And, and that. Uh, then it's looking. Can you hit the unlock button for me, my dear? Because I think that's the only thing that will open this door. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right yeah. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. Probably, but I could maybe try that little guy. Yeah. 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 I what about that good. spot right there? There's a bit of a divot right kind of above the passenger head. Maybe. Oh, neat. The radar closed. <laughs> and, stayed, that, and stayed closed. <laughs> yeah. What a what a concept. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Yeah, I mean that's a hell of a lot better. Yes. Right on. Well, all that good for now. Beautiful. Alright, what are we doing? We are pulling off the steering wheel um, in preparation for removing the steering column. <laughs> Now, probably I'll need a puller to make this work, but not necessarily. Hmm? Not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the horn dealie, and it wasn't actually tucked in the way it was supposed to be to begin with. So that actually might be part of the issue right there. Why the horn wasn't working? Yeah, because see how this can pivot back and forth? Uh -huh. It's supposed to be tucked into that little pocket so it can't. Oh. So perhaps this was sitting in such a way that it wasn't even hitting the uh, the metal ring in behind there. Okay. Which is enough right there to make the horn not work. Okay. So we'll uh, correct that immediately. And then we'll remove this off of the column. And then we'll remove the column out of the vehicle. But as Sean pointed out, um, I should check my wiring first make sure that it's actually going to work okay so we good. have a seven seven uh, wire there and a two wire there and now i need to see what i've got under here which is a seven wire with the same pattern although i can't say that i see the two wire here's another is right. it not the one that's just dangling there well I've only got it has seven and a two. Two green, has... two green wires attached to it. Yeah, good point. It does. So yeah, maybe we don't use this one. I mean, it's unused right now. Yeah. So I'm guessing it'll be unused on the new one. Okay. But, so yeah, I think we're okay then wiring wise. Yeah, Sean. It Do you looks... agree with me there? Uh, seven prong. Yeah, this has a seven and a two. This has a seven which I've just dis disconnected, yeah. and a two which wasn't used at all anyway. So I don't know what that would have been for. I don't know either. But I think it's the correct piece, hopefully. Yeah. So I feel confident enough to go ahead and pull it out now, which means removing this guy first, but we'll, we'll uh, set that horn thing. Did you see that? This wasn't set down into that little pocket, so this ring may not have been contacting the yeah. ring on the steering wheel. Which is why when you were... Yeah, it wouldn't do anything, right? It would only... It would only... Oh, though, why would it actuate the relay? if it wasn't making contact there. So, possibly, the fix for the horn is as simple as that. Hmm. Right there. I doubt it, because I'm not usually that lucky. <laughs> but it would be great <laughs> if that was the case. Uh, I can okay. vouch for that. Yeah. I am always in luck. And you spell that kind of luck. B-A-D. <laughs> But you found me! Somehow. Screws gonna go there for now. Now we gotta disconnect this harness. Which is this guy. This is all that wonderful car work that you have to do with not looking. Well, this is better than a lot. I can actually look up in there and see. I think the tab is broken off, maybe. Well, maybe not. I know how to do it. 
But it doesn't want to come out. Because it's been together there since 1991. Yes. Okay, so now that comes out. We'll save that. Yeah, we want that again. <laughs> <laughs> and now there's two screws basically up in there that need to be dealt with. The end of this cable has got to be disconnected from wherever it goes, the shift lock. So I guess I'll probably have to take the console apart in order to do that. Oh, wow. And yeah, there's the uh, the little cable right there. I'm gonna have to disconnect it on this end. A bunch of things that aren't really connected. Well, this is all from a radio, which is no longer <laughs> installed. So we'll be actually removing all that garbage. Um, we could even maybe do that today, as long as we uh, either label the wires or make things clear. Because one of the problems with um, with older vehicles is they're very often butchered on an electrical sense by people putting in aftermarket stereos and stuff. Uh, and they very, very regularly do a terrible job. Um, and it's nice to kind of restore that as best you can, um, just to have things back to stock. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. Neat and tidy. Neat and tidy, yeah. But uh, pretty much ready to pull this whole thing apart. We'll take that uh, the cable off there, and then we'll start disconnecting uh, the two screws from up at the top of the steering column here. There's just those two that secure it for... Uh, bolts against the firewall and then the one bolt uh, for the steering shaft itself which you can actually see the head of it wound up in a perfect position um, well, I don't know how easily you'll be able to see it but if you look way down in there you'll see the head of a 14 millimeter bolt I think it's 14 and that's gonna be the one that I need to remove to get that collar loose and extract the steering column so it should be reasonably straightforward now that I've said that it'll be a big pain in the ass <laughs> I'm up for the challenge. <laughs> okay, so stupidly I forgot to uh, center the wheels before I uh, removed the steering wheel. But I have now put the steering wheel back on, centered the wheels, and hopefully it's pretty close. I mean, if it's a little bit off, uh, we can make adjustments for that later. But uh, we're ready to remove the steering shaft now, so I'll pull out these two uh, screws, which really are screws, oddly. And then the four bolts at the firewall I have already removed. The uh, bolt which um, uh, tensions and retains the collar that the steering shaft is attached to. <clears throat> the other part of the steering shaft, I could say. So we're pretty well ready to go. All the electrical is got done. Oh, I do have to disconnect the cable. Uh, Sean had a good point. Uh, he said rather than unwinding it from here and feeding it all the way through the carpet, why not disconnect it at this end? And sure enough, there is just a little circlet here and one screw uh, that I can remove to get that out. So I'm going to do that first. And that's off. And now we've got one little screw, which I need to go get a stubby to get to. Sometimes you need a special tool for a special job. And this is just such a tool. Alright, there goes that. And now the cable, she is free. Now all our electrical is disconnected and we want to use either a giant slot screwdriver or more appropriately a metric Torx to get up into these guys. So I will oh, grab wow. a metric Torx. Yeah. So I am Dopey and I said metric Torx. There are no metric Torx. I was thinking of Allen keys, but these are Torx. So they're going to be hopefully a T40 I think by the looks of them. If they're anything else, I'm going to have to look again because, ah uh, yes, they are T40, lucky, because I don't have many options for this <laughs> stuff. Okay, so the column is free, i got to go now down here and get these 12 mils out, and then I think we can pull 
to call him out and hope that we have the correct one to replace it. So, theoretically this collar should be free now, except for the fact that the collar is still going to be around the splines on the other end. But hopefully it's not that tight, and I can actually just pull it right away, and I can. There you are. Okay. Does she look in good condition though? Well, yeah, I mean, it yeah. looks, looks fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Somebody has scribed um mm. slot screwdriver holes in there so they could swap out the ignition like like sean was kind of th thinking we might be able to do yeah but i mean this hasn't been a difficult swap so we'll just use the whole column so long as it does fit hopefully it does mm -hmm. let's find out it looks very similar okay so i guess i should take off the cable first and what's that for? This is for the shift lock. So um, if it wasn't in neutral or park, you wouldn't be able to turn the key. Oh. Right, so that prevents you from starting it when it's in gear with an automatic. Right. And this one was actually missing the sir clip that holds the uh, cable on. It was just sitting on there. There, so we don't need that cable anymore. Okay. You can use it for your bicycle brakes. Okay. <laughs> you don't have a bike. No, I do not. <laughs> okay, so fingers crossed it all works. Mm -hmm. And it did all work, so hooray for that. We can now start the little sidekick with its very own key instead of its crusty old screwdriver. And that was the main thing we wanted to accomplish in this episode. But we did also get the roof back into a reasonable position where it's not gonna store water when it sits out in the rain. And that's about as much as we were hoping for, so that was also a success. And uh, the only thing I can't um, swear to is whether or not we fixed that horn issue or not. If you watched the last episode, and thank you very much if you did, then you'll uh, know that we had some relay uh, issues. Um, when I would touch the steering wheel, it would click. The relay would click. Um, even sometimes when I touch the steering column, it would click. Um, but I think we've remedied that by replacing the column. I'm not entirely sure, but I will definitely include that in an upcoming episode. But thank you so much for making it to the end of this one. A big thumbs up to you for that. If you feel that we are worthy of a thumbs up, we'd love one. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. It makes a huge difference to us. Thanks again for joining us here at Balmer's Workshop. Take care of you. Take care of your family. We'll see you next time.